of having the gravel drain. You can tell that some areas are, you know, are completely dry and obviously the, the joints are, are wet. That is a nice sign for you start cleaning. And the reason is that you let, if you leave this thing dry more, it's gonna be really complicated. So, get some, some clean water. Sponges, don't try to use rags or whatever, it's really hard to do the stuff. And uh, I tell a lot of people that you have to do it in two steps. The first one is to buff the gravel. Why you wanna do that? Because you want to have all the, the, the joints even. And the second one, um, because uh, that will help you lose losing the, the areas that are a little more dry. So uh, both of them are, you know, you, but you gotta do just, they're very dry. But squeeze them, don't twist them too much because you will damage them. A lot of people will be like, you know, just, just squeeze them. You need a little bit of moist on it. And what you gotta do with the first one is to buff, buff all the little areas. Then uh, that helps you cover all the little blemishes and uh, you know the defects that you leave when you're you're putting it. But you have a nice finish. Then you know use the other side. And that itself, I mean, helps you to clean these things really well. All right, so. I don't know if you can hear, but you know it's it's, it's getting you know hard work. So, you have that one there, you can clean it. And the sponges have four, four sides. I divide, you know, like two on this side and two over here, and I'll tell you why. When you're cleaning it, see how much you get dirty? Then you twist it. That probably is the second side. Then you turn it over here, you have this part. And then you will turn it, you have this one. Why I do this, um, by experience, I learned that if you start squeezing this over and over and over, you will be playing with the, the tiles for a long time and it's gonna keep dirty. So that's how you clean it. Let me show you the last, um, the last step how you're gonna do now. It's almost clean, you can tell how nice and clean it's getting. And obviously you need to clean it back again, I mean, one more time or two times, depending, you know? Don't get frustrated, I mean, it just requires a lot of uh, cleaning. But that's, that's the way it's supposed to look. And that's pretty much it, you go over and over and over, and then you don't need to seal this gravel anymore because you already put the seal in, I mean, the sealer on it, and, and that's it. After that you can put your moldings, your furniture back again, appliances or whatever, and you're good to go. Thank you so much for watching.